Hello. Today we continue our series about the NAT CLI. Specifically, we will look at publish subscribe patterns as available in NATS. We will start our exploration by looking at a single publisher that publishes data to many clients at the same time. This is called a one-to-many or fan out, and it, it's simply where all messages goes to everyone who's interested in the messages. We have four shells. On one, we start publishing messages using the pub command. We will count. We will publish an infinite of infinite amount of messages, um, 500 milliseconds apart, and we will put some we publish these to ten one, and we'll put a body in there. Um, count at timestamp. Okay. It will now publish these messages every 500 milliseconds, one to that subject. When publishing, it doesn't know how many subscribers there are, it doesn't know if there's any subscribers as is there now, there's no subscribers, and it doesn't know where in the world these subscribers are. Let's create one subscriber, we subscribe to demo of one, and we'll see the messages arrive. We create another one, we'll see the same story and the same story. Now, important to note here, every, mes every message goes to all subscribers. This is a fan out, one too many publish, um, where one is producing messages and as many as interested are getting those messages. If we now take our previous shell and we adjust the subscribers so that they form groups, here one of them will join a group demo. Effectively, it still works as before. The group is getting all of the messages and the two individual subscribers are getting all of the messages. However, as we join another subscriber to the group, what will now happen is the group will randomly distribute these messages. You can see the two shells on the left hand side. Um, one will get some of the messages, another one will get some of the messages and they will randomly distribute. While the one on the right hand side continues to get all of the messages, of course, it's not part of any groups. We can join that one to the group as well, and now we get random distribution across all three. What's nice about this is the publisher is still unaware about the topology of the subscribers, and as you saw, you can have multiple groups or even ungrouped subscriber at the same time. This will perform failover and, and, and you know, HA, so this subscriber have died, the other two will get all of the messages. If another subscriber dies, the remaining one gets all of the messages. And as soon as another one's back, load balancing continue. This is and it's instantaneous. There's no health checks or anything like this. Um, it's done internally based on the um, interest graph. So really nice for horizontally scalable consumers. The final pattern we will explore is geographic failover. This is where Q group connects to a global supercluster as the one on the screen at the moment. Um, we'll have consumers in any region, producers in any region, and traffic will intelligently route wherever there are consumers. We will geographically file over. What it means is the nearest subscriber to the publishers will handle the messages. If I'm publishing into London and all my consumer, consumers in London goes away, New York will automatically handle the traffic. To demonstrate geographic failover, we'll expand our setup a little bit. First, we add a header here to show who's producing the London, the data in London in this case. And we're adding a producer in San Francisco. Okay. Now, because the subscribers are still just a uh, fan out, the data goes everywhere, everyone's handling it. Let's create a group here. Um, let's connect some of these subscribers first in um, San Francisco, in New York, and the right hand ones was already granted to London, so we leave them there. What we're seeing now is that the messages produced in London are going to London, and load sharing across the two. Likewise, messages produced in San Francisco is going to San Francisco and load sharing there. New York gets nothing because there's no producers in New York and there's sufficient sub subscribers in each of the regions where there's data messages being produced. Now, 
If I shut down all of the consumers in San Francisco, suddenly New York is getting data. That's because the geographic failover is happening. San Francisco and New York are closer together than San Francisco and London. And so the messages produced in San Francisco is now being handled in New York. If New York also shuts down, London will handle all of the messages, both San Francisco and um, London. If one comes back in New York, again, New York is nearer, so all the messages from San Francisco goes there. And as soon as San Francisco is back online, all of the messages are handled in San Francisco. So to wrap this up, we use the NAT CLI to explore the publish and subscribe pattern. The publisher just continued to publish data. It was completely unaware of the topology of how the messages were being consumed. Um, you agree on a well-known subject and independent to the underlying architecture and independent to how the messages are consumed, the publisher just publishes data. By changing the way that we subscribe to data, we can achieve geographic failover, failback, we can do horizontally and vertically scaled, or we can create a, you know, a huge multi-group fan out setup. This is the key capability and key um, behavior in ads. And from here on, we will look at request reply in the next video. Thank you very much.